this is Stumpy, and welcome to a rather rainy day in Zelda. Oh, look at that! The rain just stopped. Was it snowing? I think it might be snow. Is that snow? Is there a little bit of snow going through the air? I'm not sure. It was literally raining, and it was horrible. I say hello, and then the sun comes out. There we go. It's brightened up my day starting this video. Anyway, welcome back to, to Zelda, ladies and gentlemen. So, we are going to be heading, as I said in the last episode, if you saw it, we're heading this way. Uh, we're going to go past um, here. Well, actually, I guess I could I could teleport to this shrine here, couldn't I? And then, because this is where I got Patch from. And here's Patch just chilling out on this road here, by the way. He never hears me when I call him. <laughs> and then we're going to head east further this way on the, the, the hunt for Hatino Village. Well, we're mainly on the, the, the hunt for the the tower in that area because once i find that it's going to fill in the the entire map and i'll be able to see exactly where the the village is so i think that's going to be the smart way to to do it and did i did i do the shrine next to this place i think i did i think i think this might have been the one that was surrounded by all of the the spikes so i think i might be about to, to have got stuck in a, a bunch of uh, of spikes as i, I arrive here <laughs> uh, yeah i didn't realize that you could burn the spikes away no 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 spikes spike free but this is uh, one of the the shrines that i have uh, completed so uh, that is a uh, rather handy so here we go uh, this is where the um the, this table is so if i call patch here is patch gonna hear me it's here. Why can't... So do you have to be really close to the horse for them to be able to, to hear you? Like, I thought it was a case of you basically whistle and then the horse comes to you. But I guess I guess maybe they have to, to be in range or something. Or, I don't know, maybe just Patch isn't a particularly good horse. But anyway, let's, uh, let's not worry about that too much. We need to... So we need to head in uh, this direction. Let's, let's follow the path a little bit then, I guess. So where's, where's the path? So this path goes up here. And then we want to go right. And let's just follow it past this way. And let's just see where it leads to. Because generally, generally, if you stay on the path, you do find good things. Like, it is fun to, to be off the, the path and kind of, you know, find things a little bit more hidden. But generally, if you do stay on the, the path, you you run into to pretty good things most of the, the time. So let's go and take out these guys. And oh, look, there's a tower over there. And is that a tower I've activated and all? Are you... You're staying down, right, Guardian? Yeah, you're not going to come up good. <laughs> Jolly good. So is that... Is that tower directly ahead? Is that one that I've already done? I don't think it is. I think this might be the, the tower that I'm trying to, to head to. So let's go and mark that one. So that one's marked with the, the red. I'm a little bit scared here because we are like in a, in a field full of guardians. And I'm just a little bit scared one of these is going to jump up and go after me. But so far, so good. And uh, we're gathering up all of these ancient uh, screws and gears and stuff as well. And apparently these are really useful. So this is this is definitely worth doing. It's kind of like a, like a guardian graveyard here, isn't it? It's a guardian... Gra no, sorry. I was trying to mix the two words together. That just wasn't happening. And are they, are they all staying down? I'm, I'm expecting one of these at any point just to, to jump up and go after me, but <laughs> it's been it's been a case of, uh, of so far so good. There are some uh, some bokoblins over there, but they're only like the uh, the the weak little ones. So I'm not I'm not too worried about those guys. So I might just kind of run in and try and take them out and uh, and carry on uh, gathering up all of these uh, these goodies from the the guardian. And you know what? Even if one of these does jump up, I could mo I could maybe use it to to go after the the, the bokoblins uh, rather than attacking me. And that was a good dodge. Oh no no, that was a bad dodge. <laughs> I thought he was going to attack way sooner. They're, they're holding like massive swords and they kind of don't seem like strong enough to be able to, to to use them. Like they really struggle. I think I need to use backflips against them because it's such like a wide um, swing they have. I think just jumping back doesn't really help me. But look at them. There's just swords everywhere. I think there was a battle here. I think that there was a battle that happened here a long time ago. And then that's why there's all of these swords and all of these guardians. And oh, I got a double axe as well from uh, from that chest there. I increased my inventory space in the, the last episode, if you uh, if you didn't see it. I was able to, to use some of my, my Korok seeds. So uh, I should be able to, to carry uh, some more things around uh, with me, uh, which will make things much easier. Anyway, where, where are we going? I've kind of I've kind of veered off the path. So the path's over this direction, kind of by where those horses are. And there's literally guardians ever. So I don't want to spend the, the entire episode just gathering up all of them but i can kind of make oh hello <laughs> i thought that was something growing in the the grass but it wasn't it was a lying down bow goblin uh, but yeah i can kind of just um uh, remember that this is the uh, the the place where all of the the guardians are so if i do need to, to get some uh, some uh, of these ancient screws and things uh, i'm gonna know the the, the place to, to come back to uh, if uh, if it is yeah required at all i've got a, a restless cricket <laughs> i can use that to, to make an elixir if i want so uh, is this the path heading this way yeah so it goes this way and it kind of seems to be heading to, to where there's this giant fence as well uh, i guess like, i should be able to, to climb over that wall 
It is weird by just how many guys. So should I see if I can get one of these other horses? Because I really want to get one of the the, the non patchy horses. Because apparently they're they're way better. So let's let's have a um let's have something stealthy. So is the are these the stealth things? Yeah. Let's go and have some uh so well let's have this one because it's gonna get my health up a bit. Some sneaky steamed mushrooms. And this should make my my stealth much better. Which should give me a better chance to, to sneak up on some of the horses. I'm worried though, if I if I scare one, is that gonna make them them all run away? There's also a bunch of bow coblins over there. A lot of bow coblins. And I don't want the the, the horse to charge straight in the, the direction of they are. But let's go for this black horse here, shall we? Steady. And mount! There we go! Okay, I'm on it. That's step one. Now I need to soothe it. Soothe it. Soothe it. Soothe it. Soothe it. Soothe it. Oh no, it kicked me off. Oh, so it kicks my stamina down. Ah, I might need to, to have to, to keep getting my, my stamina up to, to be able to, to stay on it. I got on it though. That was a, a nice start. Let's see if we can go for this this other horse then. This one wandering here. I don't know if this is going to be a, an easier one to, to go for. As soon as I still have my, my stealth up, uh, it's going to be a good time to do it. I need it to stop moving, though. It's like moving the, the exact same speed as me in the same direction. So I'm just not catching up on it at all. <laughs> Slow down. But yeah, so I'm guessing while uh, I'm guessing I could probably eat it while I'm on the, the back of it. Uh, and then that way I can keep my, my stamina up uh, and uh, hopefully have a, a chance of actually capturing this one. So steady, steady. And right, I'm on it. I'm on it. Right, soothe, 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 soothe. Okay. Okay, I was about to run out there. Let's go and have something to get my stamina up, shall we? Let's go and, and eat this. And then that should get my, my stamina up. So that's it pretty much up to... Oh, no! I got it! It likes me! The horse likes me! And we're right by the, the stable as well. So let's see if we can get it over to the, the, the stable. So right then, let's go. So I'm on the horse. I've kind of tamed it. But it's not... It's not necessarily my horse yet. Let's just keep soothing it. There we go. It likes it when I when I soothe it at least. And uh, <laughs> let's see if we can get it over to the the stable. So it might take a while to, to kind of meander back over there. So I'm gonna gonna kind of head in the the video until I've arrived at the the stable. And uh, yeah, we can give this horse a name. I, I guess I get a better think of a, of a good name. Okay, everyone, welcome back. As you can probably see, it did take a very long time to, to get the, the horse back here. It's pretty much night time. It was the middle of the day when I started getting the, the horse over here. I didn't want to, to go yar or anything, because I didn't want to scare it off and for it to, to jump off. So we've just been slowly dawdling our way through the horse, every now and then kind of changing direction that it's walking in. But we have now just arrived at the, the stable, and I have come up with a name. I changed my mind a few times as I went through. Oh, I, I was going to call it blue for a while. Then I was like, oh, it's kind of more cyan or bluey green or something. And in the end, I was like, well, what if I do a play on the word blue? So I'm decided to call it bloom. So like, like a blooming flower, but like, but blue? I thought that was just a, quite a nice sounding name. So yeah, this is Bloom the the horse. So uh, let's see if we can register. I need to speak to the one at the the counter. No, not you. The the other one. There we go. Yes. Let me speak to to him. Looks like you caught yourself a new steed. Do you want to register it? Yes, I certainly do. All uh, right. What we got? So it's strength is only one. Uh, speed is three, stamina is four, and it's wild at the the moment. So not much strength, but it's it's really speed that, that I'm after for for it. So right, let's go for for this. Uh, I don't know if this is better or or worse than the the other one uh, that I, I got, but I'm happy to to pay my twenty uh, rupees and uh, let's go and uh, do the the name. As I said, I want to. Oh no! Oh no no what what? Please escape. Okay. <laughs> I suddenly pressed the, the wrong button. I didn't call it anything. No no no. No no no. Let's let's do this right. Let's not get the, the name wrong. I'm gonna call it Bloom. There we go. I like that name. That's a nice name for a horse, isn't it? Are you sure you want to name this horse Bloom? Yes, I bloom and am. Alright, your registration is complete. Uh, would you like to take your new horse with you? Yes, I would. Alright, we'll take Patch into our care. Oh, so they've got Patch now. Oh, am I supposed to deliver the horses back? I wonder if I can see, um... Right, you stay there for a second, Bloom. I wonder if is, if is Patch here? Is any of these Patch? I don't even know. A lot of the horses look... I don't think I, don't think I can see a Patch here. But anyway, let's go and uh, have a, a quick... Well, let's steal these apples for starters, of course. Of course we're going to steal the apples. <laughs> and let's sit here till, till morning. And then we can ride off into the sunset on Bloom. Well, into the sunrise, I guess. Seeing as we're going to do it in the, the morning. I'm so sorry. Like, I, I started the episode by teleporting to that shrine. And I've literally made no distance whatsoever. But I have a horse. So I think I think that makes it out okay. And he wants to give me directions. But it's okay. I, I don't need directions. I like to, to wander off myself. And oh, 
I kind of switched the, the controls around a little bit, so I'm going to have to get used to it. And whoa, look! I have four! I can do four yards now on Bloom. Patch only had two, so this certainly uh, seems to, to be a, a better horse for, for riding uh, uh, long distances, uh, which is kind of when I want to use the horse. Like, if I'm just exploring... No, 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 not in the water. <laughs> if I just want to, to explore, like, little small areas, like, I might as well do it, at, like, on foot, because that's probably going to be easier. But when I'm, like, crossing large areas like this, like, this is so much quicker doing it on the a horse than if I was just running across the, the field uh, like I was last time. Like, even when the horse isn't going particularly fast, it's still really good. And I'm going to keep suing it. I want to increase my bond with Bloom as we uh, <laughs> as we go, uh, just to make Bloom like me a little bit more. So uh, that would be a, a nice thing to, to have. Right then, let's see the, the old map then. So we're heading this way. So there is there is kind of a path across this way. I did mark this area on the, the map as well, just to say about all of those. Oh, steady. Steady on, Bloom. It's okay. Settle down. Settle down. Yeah, I did mark this area on my, um my map uh, as just a good area to, to come back to just to, to gather up uh, all of the, the the goodies from these uh, these guardians so uh, it's a little bit harder to to ride my horse and he kind of he keeps going off in random directions at the the moment he doesn't listen to what i say very much and all oh, the gates open okay i thought i might need to, to climb this wall but it looks like the the gate is already open anyway so we should uh, be able to to head straight through and uh, what area are we heading into uh, to now oh, there's lots of there's lots of bees nests around the, the area. Steady on, Bloom. Steady on. Whoa there. <laughs> and it looks like we've uh, we've discovered a, a house as well by the looks of things. I wonder if there's someone that lives here. Or do you think it's the beekeeper? I wonder if there's a beekeeper that lives here. Okay, there's no one home. Let's go and read the, uh, the, the diary, though. An ancient text. There's a worn-looking book here. Would you like to read it? Yes, I would. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Dark light resides. Okay. So basically, when there's a dark... Oh. <laughs> Who did that? Who trapped me in it? So when there's a dark light from a statue, basically look at it in the eyes is kind of what I got from that. Okay, very... Very mischievous, but good to, to know. And oh, I keep jumping off, uh, off Bloom. Come on, Bloom. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Right. So we're, we're heading off into to uncharted territory. Look at this. It's me and this fellow person riding a horse. And then a, a whole load of goats and steeds as well. Just kind of <laughs> uh, riding off in the, the same direction. So we're really after that tower. So... It looks like the tower is down to the the right there. So should I should I veer off in that direction at all? There is a shrine over in this direction, and it's good to to, to get the the shrines to teleport to them later. Uh, but it looks like is this is this a, is this someone in need? I think this person might be crying. Oh, they're crying! Oh, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong? <laughs> I want. Uh, I need. I need grilled salmon. <laughs> you you what, mate? <laughs> And also, the hero's life. Oh no! I thought I was doing a good deed, but it was a—it was someone here to attack me. Right, let's go and see if we can take this person out. So my my sword is quite damaged, so I need to, to be careful here. And there we go. That's the that's my sword broken here. So let's go and grab something else. Uh, let's go and use uh, this sword, and then I can use my shield uh, as well if I need to. And uh, let's uh, be careful, because as this guy appears in, I need to, to dodge out the, the way. And uh, let's see if I can finish him up. Oh no, he got a good hit on me, but there we go. I was able to, to take him out and grab some mighty bananas. <laughs> oh, I, I thought there was going to be a little mission for me to, to get some salmon there, but it was just a, a trap to, to try and lure me in. I did see one of those things before. So the tower, So apparently the tower's down to the, the right here. Assuming that is the the tower for the the area. Well, let, let's keep going this way then. Let's see if we can veer around to the the right. So I wanted to go to that shrine anyway, seeing as uh, as we're here. So I guess it doesn't matter uh, about going immediately to the the tower first anyway. So right, where where did that shrine get to? Is, is it the one that I saw all the way over there? I'm sure it seemed closer than that. Second, going whoa, steady on. Let's <laughs> let's zoom down, Bloom. I need to practice my horse riding. So apparently, the more you ride horses the better they get to control. Because at the moment, Bloom doesn't do st doesn't do exactly what I tell it to do. It kind of, it has a little bit of a life of its own. At all. let's get out of it. Okay, we're going to be careful making our, making our way over this bridge. Be careful, Bloom. Please be careful. And there we go. Okay, we're okay. Let's just keep on, no, just keep going, Bloom. Just avoid the trees. Just keep, just keep on going. Don't stop moving. Whatever you do, Bloom. No, just don't stop. Don't stop. Keep going. Just get right past this thing. Don't even look, no. 
Don't get scared, Bloom. It's okay. I think I should change my sword because the biggest the sword is, the better you can use it from the, the back of a um of a horse. Let's see if we can just do like a, a ride by hit on this guy. There we go. Look at that. I just knocked him down to the ground with my sword. <laughs> that was really, really satisfying. I know. Oh, no. I just got bucked off my off my horse though. Right. It looks like we're going to be finishing the, the battle against this guy. I probably should do that anyway just to, to grab the, the monster parts. There we go. I was able to knock him down to the ground. It's really satisfying knocking something as big as this down to the, the ground seeing as I'm, I'm so tiny. All right. Let's get ready to, to dodge. And there we go. I can use my flurry. And this flurry should definitely be able to, to finish him off. And then I'll be able to, to grab any monster parts that he uh, he drops. And it looks like the, uh, the the path I'm heading in might be leading me straight to the, the tower anyway. Like, kind of just judging by the, the, the map. Like, I'm really close. Assuming that is what I did, Mark. I always do that. I always jump on, then jump straight off. <laughs> it's just from the past Zelda games. You'd normally press the uh, the, the B button to, to to go quicker. But in this game, it's, it's different. And there we go. This is the tower. It looks like I accidentally head to exactly where it is I wanted to head to. And let's see if we can whack this guy down. Oh, that's so satisfying. I know I nearly took him out then. And I did see those uh, those precious rocks. But we're, we're worried about them afterwards. Let's first uh, go and try and make our way up to this uh, this tower and woo! Oh no, I missed him! I missed him! No, 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 no! Oh, he's chasing after me! He's chasing after me! Right, we might have a bit of a, a problem here. Let's go and, uh, and jump out. I know I should have jumped out and used the um the uh, the arrow as I fell, but let's see if we can get another flurry on this guy. No, I was too, too slow to get it there. I'm scared about battling him too close to my horse because I don't want uh, I don't want Bloom to, to get hurt in any of this. Uh, but there we go. I was able to, to knock him flying and let's run and see if I can get another big hit as well. There we go. It's the it's the second swing. That's what... Oh no, 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 no. It's okay, Bloom. It's okay. Oh no, Bloom. Oh no, no. Settle down. Settle down, Bloom. Settle down. Let me go. Let me go and soothe Bloom a little bit, shall we? I, th I think you might be able to, to feed them um feed them food as well. I I, th I think that's something you can do. Let's let, let's jump off. Let's see if I can give Bloom an apple. Let's let's go and uh Oh, it won't let me hold it. Is it because I'm flying in the air? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I can't hold them when I'm leaping through the, the sky. Can I can I give it to to Bloom? Oh, there we go! I get I gave Bloom an apple. There we go. That should have uh, have hopefully calmed him uh, him down a little bit. But we have pretty much uh, arrived at the the tower. So this is going to be really important because as soon as this tower is complete, uh, then I'm going to be able to to see the the entire area and uh, know exactly uh, where it is that I want to to go and uh, and head to next. It looks like there's a few uh, bow goblins around here. Let's see if I can do the the jump off bow and arrow trick then. So I go here, I jump, and then I go. Oh no, I didn't do it. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> I know. No, that's my that's my um my sword pretty damaged uh, for for now uh, but I was able to to take him out anyway and uh right then I need to I need to get to this town there's quite a few fawns around I think I might oh no the fawns go the entire way up the tower I think I need to to burn these away I think that's what I need to do so do I have any torches on me so it'd be good to to save my fire arrow I do so Let's let's try and light the the, the fire here because this is going to be handy for for doing any cooking anyway. And oh, is that what's that down there? Oh, th is that where I came from? Oh yeah, look, that's the the stable. That's where I came from. Okay, I'm not. I haven't gone too far, but I've got some um. I got some flint on me, and I think I can use this to to light the uh, the the fire here. Where is the the flint? Okay, here's the flint. So if I hold this, and then how do I how do I use it on this? No, that just brought my sword out. Hold it. And then, can I just drop it? No, then I just dropped it on the, the floor. I'm pretty sure I heard that you can you can strike it against things. So if I just go and uh, and drop it here? No, I'm just dropping it in front of it. What does it say? Uh, strike a metallic weapon to generate a spark. Portable fire starter breaks after one use, but it can be uh, create a long-lasting flame as long as you use it near fire. Okay, so let's hold this and the firewood. And then if I drop this and then... No, that didn't do very much either. Okay, let's... Oh, it's raining. It's just started raining as well. Oh, no, this is bad. Because I, what I was trying to do is I want to burn away all of those fawns. And then I'm going to be able to, to climb up. But I think the fire might just go straight back out. Seen as it's raining. And I can't even sleep to, to skip time. Because I can't use this to skip time because there won't be <laughs> there won't be anything there so what i'm gonna do then is i'm gonna speed up the the video now i just cut ahead in the the video until it stopped raining and then let's see if we can burn all of this away so i really want to, to see the the tower so i can fill in the the map and then that way we can uh, know exactly uh, what we want to, to do next
Okay, welcome back. The, the the rain seems to just about have stopped. And oh, look at that. Look how bright and, uh, and sunny it is now. And uh, yeah, between this episode and the last episode, I did uh, a little bit of a, of a looking, not between this episode and the last episode, between now and about a second ago for, for you. I looked up online uh, just, to, just to see about how Flint works. And I was kind of almost doing it right. So what you need to do is you do just literally drop the, the flint down on the, the floor. So if I hold it, I can then go and drop it down like this. And then apparently you just hit it with like a sword or something. So let's just hit it with this. And then there we go, look! It breaks the flint and then lights up the, the pot. So I could use this for, for cooking. I can also now just use this as a, a good way to, to get fire. And then I can go and grab this uh, this torch. And then I can light this here, and now I can start burning away all of these spikes because I won't be able to, to climb up the, the tower uh, with all of the, the spikes there. I don't know, there might be like one route up that I would have been able to, to, to make, but I think it's just going to be way easier just to, to burn away as many of the, the, the spikes that we, we can. And then that way, I should be able to make my way, my way up relatively easily. So is this just going to spread the entire way up? Look at this! Look how much fire is- and oh look, it's making a giant updraft from all the, the fire. Can I- I might be able to paraglide up there. Oh look at this! Whoa! That was awesome! And all steady on, steady on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, to make my entire way up that way, but that was awesome! <laughs> that is something that I definitely need to, need to do more often. I mean, once the, the, the flame gets a bit closer, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could just fly the, the entire way up there. It's probably though a smarter idea just to, to wait for these to, to burn away. <laughs> and then I'll be able to, to climb up that way. The fire it looks absolutely amazing though, doesn't it? Alright, let's go give this another go then. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 not good. Not good. Let's have something to eat. Let's not burn to, to death. <laughs> let's go and uh, have some of, uh, of this uh, this steak. And let's have a, a drumstick as well, just for just for a bit of variety. Okay, I've learned my lesson. We won't be trying that again straight away. We will wait for the, the, the spikes to, to start burning away. So that's handy. I thought I was going to need to keep lighting new fires, but it looks like it's just going to burn the, the entire thing down. Oh, can I, can, I, can I let go here and glide up? Oh, I could have, I could have. I, 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 oh, no, no, I, need, I need to jump off. Oh, no, 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 no. I ran out of stamina. I didn't watch my stamina at all. Then I got too carried away with myself and I was just trying to, to jump the, the entire way up. On the bright side, though, it looks like that that is all of the... Well, pretty much all of the... I think there might be a few spikes still left at the, the top. I don't know if there's any fire still making its way up there. If not, I do have fire arrows as well. The reason I wanted to use the, the torch was just to, to save my fire arrows because uh, they're pretty wear and very expensive. And oh, look! Look at that in the background. Do you reckon that is uh, Hatino Village? I can see there's a shrine over there. I reckon that is. I reckon that is Hatino Village. Oh, it looks so nice. Oh, look at it. Oh, it looks so pretty over there. I think that might be then where we're going to, to head to uh, to next. But we want to, to go and fill in the, the entire area. I want to see what that mountain is. Oh, I think that's the snowy mountain there. I think that's the mountain I tried to, to make my way up. And that was a really dangerous place to, to go to over there as well. So uh, that might be somewhere that I go to, to head to in the, the future. Uh, yeah, now uh, now I'm a little bit more prepared about what it is I'm going to, to be facing over there. And I'll look at the view. We're so high up here, aren't we? Right, let's let's drop down here and let's go. And oh no, down, 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 down. And let's let's burn away a few more of these spikes then. So let's go and uh, grab the, um, the, the fire arrows. I do have quite a few of them, to, to be fair. And let's just go and blast this here. And then hopefully that's going to be uh, enough to... to to burn away all of the the rest uh, up to the the top assuming that it's all linked to, together because that's the big thing that matters if it's all linked to, together then it's going to burn it all away but if there's any gaps then i guess it's going to stop burning at some point uh, but it looks like uh, most of it is all linked to, together so we shouldn't have any problems i can certainly at least make my way up to, to this next ledge here so let's go and very carefully make my way around the the corner luckily link doesn't seem to be too scared of heights because <laughs> i would be absolutely terrified right now if this was uh, this was me even with a paraglider on me I would still be terrified otherwise you can see him like sweating as he climbs up though I think that's more more out of exhaustion rather than out of uh, of fear then so right there are some spikes here but I think I should be able to, to squeeze past these. If I just don't get too close, then I should be okay. Because I think if I do touch them, it's going to hurt me. And I'm going to end up dropping the, the entire way down. So I want to be very careful here. It does get uh, quite thin at the, the top. But I think I should be uh, able to, to make my way the entire way up here. So there's me past the, the spikes. And that's me up at the, the top. So here is a another tower complete. Is this my... I think this might be my fourth tower I've done now. Looks like there's still plenty left to, to go, uh, just seeing as uh, how big the, the map is. But look at the view from up here. 
You can literally just see everything. Like, I can literally just stand here, ignore the map, and just point to somewhere in the distance and say, right, that is where I want to, to head to. And you can see uh, two more towers in the, the distance over there. They don't look very far away, but I know they'll take absolutely ages for, for me to, to make my way over to them. So uh, this is it filling in all of my map now. So I reckon... The, the place with the, the, the windmills in the, the background. I reckon that is uh, Hatino Village. Uh, so we can just go and look over there and then just check the, the map. And then we can go and uh, double check uh, if that is the, the place that I think it is. So, right, where where am I? I'm going to fill in this entire area. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Okay, looks like it's very much taken up by the, the mountain. That seems to, to definitely be the, the main feature uh, in this area. But that's that's the village. So it should be down this way. So if I just follow this... oh. It's not saying about the the village unless it's... Hmm, am I facing... Oh, no, I think I was facing the wrong way. Ah, this way. Okay, so let's just follow in a straight line here. And then there's the, uh, the, the Ginner Woods. And then there's a pond. And then, aha, here seems to be the, the village. Well, it hasn't given it a name, actually. It hasn't said, oh, is the... Okay, maybe it isn't Hatino Village. It looks like Hatino Village is down here because it's Hatino Beach and Hatino Bay. Then where is the... It doesn't actually say where the, the village is, unless I'm being completely blind. Hmm. Okay, it looks like an interesting place to, to head to anyway. Maybe it is, but it just hasn't got the, the name coming up for for some reason. But I think that's probably where I'm going to head to next, because if nothing else, at least there is a, a shrine there. And then that's uh, Mount uh, Lanaru. That's where I tried heading up to before. We will go and try and tackle that. And that's where I got to <laughs> before I died last time, I guess. So, right then, lots done in this episode. I got a new horse. I was able to, to get a tower, and I know exactly where I'm going to, to be heading to next. But that is the, the end of this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!